Hello, welcome to Izzy's to Rose. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Sagittarius Love Prediction reading for March 14th through March 20th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else in your love space. Keep that in mind as you watch it, as you listen. If if you like my reading, please give me a subscription or a like. I would be most humbled, most honored. I'm always very grateful if you decide to do that. Let's see what's going on with my fiery, impulsive, kind, loving Sagittarius. Show me what's going on with my fun Sagittarius. Show me what's going on with my Sagittarius spirit, guys. Show me. Show me, Sag. Sag, let's see what you got going on. Emperor, the fool, the three of cups, the sun, and the five of cups. Sad, sad. Every time I think it's going to turn out good. <laughs> That Five of Cups is showing up, and that's crazy. Let's see what's going on for you, Sagittarius. First of all, this could the Emperor card is a card of control. It's a card of you trying to get control back, but it could be an Aries person as well. It could be anyone, but the Emperor card represents the Aries, Aries a Zodiac sign. But for this read, I think that you're just simply trying to get your life back. Get your life back in control after a very devastating um, time frame. And when I say devastating... I mean, with your heart, your heart, um, you have been, um, and, and I've been reading about this for a while. I don't know who, whomever I'm reading for, you would, you have been in a, um, a mode or a, a mood, a, a, uh, emotions all over the place. You, you, I mean, it, you, because, and I'm going to tell you straight out because you want a new beginning with someone because that food card is there, but you don't know how to get this new beginning. The emperor means you want control. And the problem is you can't con have control. You don't know how to get. You want control in your life. But yet and still you want a new beginning because that food card is there. If you want a new beginning, you can't control it all the time. This is a new beginning with someone that you loved and adored too. Because here's this three of cups that's in the middle of your read. And this to me means that you had a great time with this person. The three of cups means good times partying um you just enjoyed each other but here and, and and this is even um this is even deeper than that because you have that sun card there and the sun card is all about illumination of pros and cons it can show pros and cons but it's also about joy just great joy just having a good time just being in love just the sun is shining this is one of the best cards in the deck the sun card that sun card is it's just shining all on you. Love is everywhere. Whatever I mean, there can't get um, nothing can get better than that sun card. But like I said, with that sun card though, it also shows the cons. Now here's what I see: you have the five of cups there, which means depression. You can't get any sunshine because you're depressed about something. That sunshine's not coming there. That just negates that sun card. You want this so very badly. You want this. You want this because you have the emperor in the beginning, which is all about controlling a new beginning. Right here together, you want a new beginning with someone, but you, you're you not getting this, and you're depressed. You're, you're down and out. You're regretful, remorseful. I feel like I can feel your heart because your new beginning is not happening. Your new beginning is not happening. Your sun, your sunshine is gone. You know, there's a, sunshine, a song that says, ain't no sunshine when, when, when she's gone or when they're gone. That's where you are. There is no sunshine for you because of this five of cups. This let, Let's see what's going to happen. I'm not saying, this is just what I'm saying in the first part of your read. I really suggest that you listen to the total of your read and let me clarify the cards because this is a deep read. And I've been reading about this for you for quite some time. So let's see here. If this is your read, sit back, relax. 
and let me clarify the cards and see what the spirit guides are going to tell you. Why is this emperor card here? Show me spirit guides. Why is the emperor card here? Show me why the emperor card is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the emperor card here? Let's see. The high priestess, wow. You're, you have into your gut, your intuition, um, your spirituality, all of that wrapped up in the one. And with this emperor card here, it's all about you digging within yourself, all about you listening to yourself, listening to your gut, to your intuition, and asking the universe and the spirituality being there with asking the universe for what you want. Because the emperor card here is all about control. But you don't have control right now. Um, unfortunately, I don't know what has happened, but you don't, you're don't. you lacking that control that you used to have. Um, and I don't think you've asked, I think you're asking uh, the universe, how do you get it back? That's what that high priest is. I think it's spirituality. Um, it is your gut. You're trying to figure out how do you get it back. And what it's telling you is that you need a new beginning. Because you have that fool card there. So let me see, why is the fool card here for my Aries? Show me spirit, guys. Why is the food card here for Aries? Show me. Oh, wow. Yeah. Either you walked away or somebody walked away from you. See this food card here? You walked away from someone, but your intuition uh, and your gut right here is you want to be back with them, but you walked away. You left something that brought you great joy because the Three of Cups is next, and that's in the middle of your reading. You want a new beginning with someone that you walked away from. You walked away. Let's see why the Three of Cups is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Three of Cups here? Ooh, sad, sad, sad. Five of Swords over that Three of Cups um, is just all about conflict. But you know, Swords is air energy. And Swords is, all, for me, it's always also, even though it's an abusive, it could be an abusive energy um, that you have around you. But for me, it's your energy. It's your energy. You are this, you have Five of Cups and the Five of Swords. It's your head that's, I mean, you're just all in conflict over your head because, like I said, you miss, you're miss. you missing someone, someone that you walked away from, that you had a good time with. And here you are with that five of swords, which means you miss them greatly. You miss them greatly, and you are so trying to figure out. I've read this for you again and again, Sagittarius. You've got to make the moves. You are in a funk. You are in a funk, and you've got to get out the funk. You've got to make the moves. You've got to do whatever. Either you got to figure out if you're going to be with this person if you're going to get a new beginning or what you're going to do, because this is not going to last for you. You cannot stay in this state. You cannot stay in constant conflict. You are in constant conflict of, in your head and your mind. So let's see why the sun card is here. Show me, spirit guys. Why is the sun card here for my Aries? Show me why the sun card is here for my Aries. You wanted a future with them. That three of wands is actionable steps to a future. You wanted a future, and with the sun card there, they were, you know, your sunshine is gone. And I'll say that again. Ain't no sunshine when they're gone. You, um, Your sunshine is gone. This is someone that you were with that you had great fun with. But like I said, the sun illuminates also the cons. You don't have, um, you're not taking steps with them anymore. Because look at this five of swords here. You're all in your head. It's, you have conflict. You don't know what the heck to do. You're twirling. You're just trying to figure it out. But look at the Five of Cups at the end. Let's see what my spirit guides are going to tell you about that Five of Cups. Show me spirit guides. Why is the Five of Cups here? Show me spirit guides. Wow. Wow, I'm so sorry, Sag. That person was your all in all. And you, it was your all, the Ten of Cups. They did everything for you. And when I say they did everything for you, your heart was on fire. It was all, but you're depressed because they're gone. You're no longer with them. And you're trying to figure out what the heck happened. Your sunshine is gone. Your sun, there ain't no sunshine when, when, when they're gone. You miss them greatly. Five of Cups is depression because your Ten of Cups is not there. Happy home, happy life. All of the above. Heart, space, happy. Let's start to begin the emperor. This is a control card. Emperor is all about controlling their kingdom. You're definitely not controlling your kingdom right now. Well, you thought you were controlling it because you left somebody with this eight of cups. And then you have the high priestess there because 
that your intuition is kicked in, your spirituality is kicked in, because guess what? You left them and thought you were doing what you were doing. I don't know what you did. I have no idea or why you left, but you want a new beginning with them. You wanted a new beginning. You want a new beginning with them because here you have the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups is also, it's about I'm um, having a good time. And I think you just really had a good time with them. But look at that Five of Swords there. Now also let me tell you, the Three of Cups here could mean that there was another party here. And maybe that's why you walked away. But here is the Three of Cups here. And I'm looking at it more that you had a good time with them. And the Five of Swords is your head is on fire. You can't figure it out. You have conflict each and every day because you miss this person greatly. And you're trying to figure out what the heck were you thinking of. You see, her hand is in her head. It's like she's, your head is on fire. You're trying to figure out what the heck. There is no sunshine. Ain't no sunshine when they're gone. Here's the sun here. The sun card means all joy, great, happiness, love, everything, all of the above. But guess what? You have the Five of Cups next to it, so you're not getting that. You don't have a future anymore, and that's what you wanted with them. That is gone as well. But with this Sun card next to this Five of Cups, you are depressed. You're feeling remorseful, regretful. And you're only, you can only blame yourself. It's no one but yourself. So let's see that Ten of Cups is there. That Ten of Cups, you feel regretful and remorseful because they were your Ten of Cups. They were your love. And something happened where you walked away. So let's see. Show me. And you missed them. So let's see. Show me, Angel Oracles. What do you want to tell them, Angel Oracles? Show me. Show me, Angel Oracles. Let's see. Learning experience. This has been a learning experience for you. Um, definitely, Sag. This has been a learning experience, and I hope you can get them back. I don't know. You are feeling so down and out and so remorseful and regretful. Um, I don't know if the universe, if you try to manifest them back, I don't know. But I tell you one thing, you can't stay in this energy. You can't stay in this energy of, of conflict You in, in, in your head, in your mind. You can't move forward. In order for you to move forward, you got to figure out what you're going to do. You've got to take actionable steps. This three of wands that was here is what you really wanted to get this person back or either let them go. That's what I have for you because the energy's still there. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading. 